you so today we're going to be talking about how not to transfer your makeup into a mask so make sure to listen closely to all the tips and tricks that I have to tell you and I'm making this video thanks to one of my subscribers in my Spanish channel and this is what she said which I'm going to translate by the way <laughs> Lynn I like your videos can you please make a tutorial about makeup when you are using a mask and what can you do so that the base, the foundation, will not transfer to your mask? Kisses. So she requested this video. I'm going to be showing you a few tips and tricks. If you're still not following me on social media, you can follow me as Lindsire everywhere on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. So without talking anymore, let's begin. At this moment, the only thing that I have is moisturizer and sun protection. The one that I've been using is this one by Sunbun because it has SPF 30. It leaves your skin baby soft and at the same time, it's protecting your skin from the sun. And it's a cruelty-free brand. Gotta love it. One of the first options is to simply not use makeup. <laughs> Just kidding. If you're here, it's because you want to see how to use makeup with a mask. <laughs> so as you saw me, the only thing that I was applying right now is loose powder and the reason for this is so that when you apply foundation, it will have something to stick on instead of transferring to the mask. So really important, just apply a little bit of loose powder before you apply foundation. Not only that, but it's also going to make your makeup last longer so for this step, there's a few tricks, so make sure to listen very closely. So what you need to have is a setting spray so that the makeup will stay on your skin. The one that I'm going to be using is this one by e.l.f., but you can use any setting spray that you have available. So the trick here is that when you apply your foundation, you're going to mix it with the setting spray. And you have to be kind of quick with this step because the setting spray dries really fast. So I'm going to show you how. I forgot to do the warm up. So, to be honest, I prefer applying foundation with a sponge, but for this method, I really recommend you use a brush to make it easier. So right now my foundation is ready. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to show you a few more methods that you can apply to make your makeup last longer while wearing a mask. So the same method that I just showed you, I'm going to do the same with concealer that we're going to apply under our eyes. I'm not used to using brushes because I love using the sponge. So the rest of the products are mainly powder, so I'll see you a little later.
Hi, if you're liking this video, remember to give it a like with the little hand there at the bottom. And it would be incredible that for me to continue sharing more things, the best way you have to support me is by subscribing to this YouTube channel by clicking on the red button that you are seeing at the bottom of this video. Which, by the way, if you still don't follow me on Instagram, do it right now at Lindsire because over there you will be the first to see what I share here on YouTube. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably missed the moment when I shared some of these items in real time. You will also see me try new beauty products and more. So if you don't follow me there, do it right now at Lindsire so you can find out about everything before everyone else here on YouTube. See you there. What a mess. No, I know, I know. If that happens to you, it's okay. Just get a q tip wet. With another q tip, just reapply eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm ruining eyeliner today. I think it's because I'm using this because I always do it in front of my mirror. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing happened. Really important when you finish your makeup, use the setting spray one more time so all of the makeup stays in place. <laughs> mm, I don't know if I should straighten my hair or do I leave it like this? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So to finish this off, I'm going to show you a few more steps that are optional but that they can help you a lot. By the way, I just changed my lip color. <laughs> If you like, you can also use the setting spray inside your mask so it can be another layer of protection. Doing this will also help that the makeup doesn't transfer to your mask. <laughs> another thing that you can do is use tissue paper, just grab a Kleenex and you're going to fold it here in the inside section. That way it's going to be easier to clean. You really won't have makeup on your mask. And this idea is so simple that my mom told me about. Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> also, this will help a lot because if you have pets, you know that when you wash your mask, it has small little hairs on the inside. So this will help avoid to get those little hairs inside your mouth, inside your nose. So I just took off the mask and as you can see, the only thing that transferred here was the lipstick, none of the base, none of the blush, no other makeup, only lipstick. <laughs> and we can give thanks to using setting spray to everything that was like liquid and anything that was powder, like it helped to absorb all the other makeup. <laughs> So I have to start heading out and I want to thank you for staying all the way to the end for watching. Don't forget that if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on all social media accounts with the same name, Lynn Sire. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Kisses. Bye. <laughs> Oh,